Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the victory of CF Cordoba in the third round of the second Spanish division. His Highness said that this victory reflects the efforts of the players as well as that of the technical and administrative staff who are taking the team towards its objectives. He said that this third win in a row represents the success of the team and that he is keen on supporting the club to achieve its goals. He expressed confidence in the ability of the players and wished them further success. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Abdullah Nas Opening Bowling Championship, which was held at Funland and crowned the winners. Bahrain Yusuf Falah finished first in the men's category in the first lane, while in the women's category was won by Bahraini Nadia Aqil. His Highness hailed the technical level of the maiden championship and congratulated the winners on their performance. He stressed the importance of the late Abdullah Nas Open Bowling Championship, which contributes to developing sports tourism in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He reiterated sports for hosting more support for hosting more regional, continental, and international championships in Bahrain, in line with the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to Najma and Manama clubs as part of His Highness's keenness to enhance communication with sports facilities. His Highness is keen on providing all support needed to achieve the desired goals and strategies that contribute to elevating sports in the kingdom and make further accomplishments. Deputy President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker were present. His Highness met with the head of the Najma Club, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, and the head of the Manama Club, Hussein Al Qasir, and a number of members. His Highness praised the efforts of both clubs in honing the skills of the youth through holding a number of activities, which reflects the important role of clubs in sports march. His Highness then listened to a brief from the heads of both clubs regarding the future plans of the clubs that aim to enhance the sports sector of the kingdom. The heads of both clubs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts. And and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom.
Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa issued Edict 48 of 2021, restructuring the Consultative Committee of the BQA National Qualifications Framework. Chaired by BQA Chief Executive Officer, the panel includes the following members Organization and Job Budgeting Director General, Civil Service Bureau, Dr. Mohammed Abdullah Bakr, Government Universities, Bahrain Training Institute, Director General, Education Ministry, Scientific Researcher, Director, Higher Education Council, Nawaf Mohammed Al Jishi, Private Institution, Vocational Institutes Affairs Director, Labor and Social Development Ministry, Dr. Samir Abdul Karim Al Atum, Private University, Yasser Abdul Rahim Al Abbasi, Private Sector. Under the edict, the top five members will serve for four years while the others will have a three year term. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs made a statement in which it rejected the EU Parliament's report on the UAE. The Ministry affirmed that the report is based on false and illegitimate information, which contradicts the achievements of the UAE in the fields of human development, human rights, justice, equality, and offering decent livelihoods to all of its citizens and residents, as per the Constitution and laws. The Ministry also affirmed that the UAE rec record in these record in these fields underlines the high status that it occupies, according to the UNDP's indicators, which ranks it very highly in its Human Development Index. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, met in New York at the permanent mission of Turkey to the United Nations with the Ministry of Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey, Mevlut Cavusoglu. To the two sides, reviewed the friendly relations between the two countries and means to enhance cooperation in various fields, and discussed several regional and international issues of common interest. The Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Ambassador Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faris Al Rawai, attended the meeting. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozi Yazinel, participated in the Arab Parliamentary Diplomacy Center's session on the development of parliamentary skills, where she discussed Bahrain's pioneering experience in women's leadership. The containment of the pandemic led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the various societal initiatives under the directors of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women. She affirmed that the Kingdom now enjoys an advanced status in parliamentary work thanks to the Royal Directors which have established a foundation for a modern democratic process. She added that this session achieves a part of the aspirations of further developing female parliamentarians in the Arab world and achieving equal opportunities for both genders. The Minister of Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Hope Fund, Ayman Lam Ayyad, and U.S. Embassy Charged Affairs, Margaret Nardi, visited the Hope Project site. The meeting discussed cooperation between the Hope Fund projects and the U.S. Embassy in the Kingdom with the aim of starting training various fields, especially entrepreneurship, to benefit from U.S. expertise and empower Bahraini youth. The Charged Affair was briefed on the vision and objectives and strategy of the Hope Fund and the Hope Projects that aim to support Bahraini entrepreneurial projects in their various stages by providing knowledge, investments and facilitating opportunities. The Supreme Council for the Environment opened the fourth Ozone Summit under the patronage of the Council's Special Envoy, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, under the slogan, Montreal Protocol, Keeping Us Our Food and Vaccines Cool. The Special Envoy affirmed the efforts of the Kingdom to protect the environment from the effect of the damage in the ozone layer via cooling techniques that were once used in various industrial and service sectors. He said that the Council has launched a number of national legislations to manage cooling through the use of latest technology and the best international practices and in line with the Kingdom's international commitments. Traffic safety is considered an important and noble goal that requires coordination, efforts and community partnership, which was the topic of the Director of the General Directorate of Traffic stressed on while he was presenting the achievements of the Comprehensive Traffic Strategy that was launched in 2015. More in this report. The application of e-traffic showed positive results, which is a result of the awareness and commitment shown by drivers and their adherence to the established procedures, especially since the project aims primarily to achieve traffic safety and smooth traffic. As the comprehensive traffic strategy was implemented in the year 2015, the road traffic injuries and fatalities reduced by 60% until the year 2020. The comprehensive traffic strategy reduced accidents by 35% from last year until the year 2021, ranking Bahrain 
the top in the region in the drop of traffic accident rates. Such an achievement uh, is a milestone despite an increase in the number of vehicles by 21%, high traffic flow, and the construction of new cities as a part of urban development. It is natural for the awareness process to continue to introduce the procedures and objectives that the project is working to achieve with an emphasis on the need for drivers to respond to the media message, abide by the behaviors and procedures it contains, and cooperate in implementing the mechanisms required by traffic safety. The drop in traffic accident rates uh, is related to the awareness of road users uh, by following traffic rules and avoiding wrong practices including the use of mobile phones while driving, crossing red signals and exceeding road speed limits. The outcomes of the project of assigning minor traffic accidents to insurance companies are positive on the level of traffic safety and at the same time at the level of protecting members of society, which is achieved through constructive efforts by all parties and within the framework of responsible community partnership. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,116,955 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,105,321 had taken the second and 272,015 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 768 with 96 recoveries and 85 registered new cases. 51 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 19 are contact of active cases and 15 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.